Residents from Burbank to Newport Beach were jolted out of bed by an overnight earthquake. The 3.9 quake was centered one mile northeast of Baldwin Hills and a magnitude 1.8 aftershock hit in the same area just before one this afternoon. CBS 2's Joy Benedict has reaction to the shaking. It is an earth shattering video, but it is the earth shaking as one camera at this 7-Eleven near Baldwin Hills caught the moment when the ground moved. It was a heck of an earthquake though. I, well, it shook the whole house. Michael Oxley lives just a few blocks away. He says the quake was so powerful he thought he could have damage. So that's why I did the inspection and I found a quack, like I said, in our kitchen window. Two small window panes will need to be replaced. Usually I sleep pretty hard, but last night it was pretty tough. A sentiment shared by many in the Southland. It made me get up. I've been awake ever since, yes. <laughs> the U.S. Geological Survey lists the epicenter right here in the southern tip of Kenneth Hahn State Park. But as you can also see, we're clearly in the middle of a residential area, and that's why this quake was felt all the way from Burbank to Newport Beach. A big shake. And although many felt the tremor, others slept right through it. Registering a 3.9, it wasn't a must feel. And no one reports any significant damage. But that doesn't mean people aren't talking about it, if not for the impact Sunday morning, but because of what could be. Just to think of how the earth is moving, and you never know what may happen, what's the next move. With more than 6,000 people dead in Nepal after last month's quake, the possibility has some here quivering. Did it frighten you? Yeah really bad. My wife wake, uh, wake up and uh, she was like almost crying. I'm kind of used to it now. <laughs> it happens every other day it seems like. For our small quake caused a small shake and a few breaks. Just the jolt we need to remember to be prepared. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.